Okay guys, just to tell you, we got the Turnstyle Audio uh, Shotgun Mic on our camera again because we really liked it when we tried it out last time. Absolutely. I think it came out amazing. So if you can't hear us, we did something wrong. This is a brand new setup. We're not used to using the shotgun mic in the studio here, but I'm going to turn this over to my buddy Robert, who's going to explain to you pretty much what we're doing today. Oh, I guess Hope wants to explain. No. Sorry. Every time I talk to the camera, she knows. She literally knows. Every time. She, was she barking before? No. No. Just quiet. Complete now. setup. She was quiet. The moment I start talking to you, she starts barking. And she knows it. And this, she wants to host the show. This is one of the smartest dogs I've ever owned. All right. Go ahead and tell them what we're doing. All right. So today we're using a new product, the Temp Spike, that was sent to Jack. I'm excited on this one. Now, do you know what company sent that? I do not. You know the Thermapro? Yes. Okay, that's like a it's like a Thermapro 19, I think it is. It, it's like, I don't know, I'm sure the price has gone up since I reviewed it, but it was like a $19 three second punch. You put your huh. you put your probe in, it tells you in three seconds. Exactly, I have one. It's great. Oh, this is gonna be exciting to test. This that. is their Bluetooth one. So what we're gonna use that on these and um, and did you tell them we're doing poor man's brisket? Not yet. That's okay. the next one is we've gotten some normal just beef chuck here today. And of course, you know, ghost doing some normal beef chuck. And we're going to make poor man's brisket with this and see how it comes out to see if we can get this soft as tender, soft and tender and delicious like a delicious brisket would normally come out for half the price. Uh, literally a third of the price. Our third of the price. Like briskets oh, wow. running about sixty bucks for an average size one. Cheese and crackers. For twenty one dollars, we got two chuck roasts. Twenty one dollars, a third of the cost of brisket. This is why it's the poor man's brisket. So we're going to cook this just like brisket. Okay. So let me go over the steps. We're gonna do it real quick. They're down below. They'll be written for you so you can understand and follow the steps to make sure. And it works for brisket too. All right. So we're going to put this on the smoker with nothing on it. I mean, we're going to season it, but there's not going to be wrapped or anything. It's going to be wide open. We're going to smoke it. It'll get a bark. Uh, we're going to cook it to 165. Then what do we do at 165, Dina? I think 165, what we're going to test it, pull it off for a little bit. Yeah, and then we wrap it. Start wrapping it. Let yeah. that sucker sit for a while. People are like, what do we wrap it in? You can do butcher's paper. You can do um, parchment paper. You can do foil. You've got to wrap it. Okay, Let so you sucker rest. wrap that up. Oh, no, no, not yet. We're not done with it yet. So we're going to wrap it. Mm -hmm. Then we're taking it to 200. From oh, yes. And then you put it in a cooler for an hour and you wrap it in towels. Oh. It's, guys, it, I expect this to work flawlessly. So we got the new thermometer. We got uh, poor men's brisket. Let's get this video started. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to keep this camera rolling and you're going to hear me and Robert speaking because we haven't even decided what the rub is yet. We're going to make the rub live while filming right now. So enjoy this process, but we're going to go through all my seasonings. He's going to tell me what sounds good and you're going to see kind of how we talk off camera, but we're going to do it on camera. All right. So get ready. All right. So the, basically I've got a boatload of Boatload of spices. You want to go for sweet, spicy, tangy? We can do both. Um, we can do uh, both. We both. can do uh, we can do swerve brown sugar if you want. We can do cumin. We can do uh, if you want to do uh, cayenne pepper. You want to do chili powder. Which one? Uh, mm -hmm. I know this could be garlic, right? Oh yes, garlic. Right, so awesome. here is. Hold on. Here's the garlic. Okay, now. Garlic. Do you want to do chili powder? Sure, yes, please. Chili powder it is. Always. Okay, the other thing is, do you want to do, I think it's smoked paprika I like. Yes, smoked paprika. And then salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. Salt. Pepper. Pepper. All right. And what about a green? I'm sure you want a green. Do you want basil, oregano, parsley? What do you feel like? Well, you want to do some basil for color then? Oh, yeah, let's do I basil. Mean, for, uh, for flavor. flavor. Yeah, yeah, let's, let me see if I can basil here. Give it that good, strong punch. 
There's basil. I'll take and that. Basil, and parsley. There you go. Uh, okay, and I think that's it. We don't want to overdo it. I was gonna say, I hope this is it. We're getting a bit much here. And let's start putting these ingredients in the bowl. Now, salt and pepper are standards of almost every time I grill, smoke, or whatever meat. I don't know why. To me, you just can't do better seasoning than salt and pepper on a meat. I've rarely done a whole lot more for just myself than that. Now we're going to go here to the basil. I'm going to go a little light on that one. Just, eh. Let's just do one and a half and see how this comes out. Ooh, the garlic. Look at that deliciousness, garlic. And Jack laughs at me every time with this. I cannot have enough smoked paprika. I, I just love it. I love this stuff. This stuff is, um, this is like, there was one year I discovered it and that's all I ever used. In my chilies, uh, everything. And you're gonna see me splash a little bit on this one, cause wow, that's just okay. so good. You remember, too much seasoning is still good seasoning. <laughs> and for that last little kick, of course, we're gonna do the chili powder. Now, for those of you that really don't like the spice, you might wanna go a bit easy on this. It's always easy to add it in there. It's really right. hard to take it out. <laughs> Have we got enough for both of these? Uh, you know what, I only put, meh. I mean, I think we can do it. I think we can spread it out. Let's see what this looks like. Go ahead and like. mix that up and see. If not, we're gonna increase it off camera, but you get to see exactly what we threw together. And then you can go ahead and... Massage this in there. Yeah, I just don't want to waste too much so we have enough for the other side. I can always make that. that on there. Yeah. Make sure we get enough. Get some on there. There we go. All right, we're going to massage this in just a little bit. There you go. Now, there's multiple reasons we're doing this. The big one I like to do it for and always justify to myself is I want to push it down just a little to where as it's on the grill or whatever and you flip it over or do what you're doing, it doesn't just fall right off. I'm trying to get the meat covered as much as I can in here. Okay guys, we're about ready Ooh. to put in the, what is it, temp? The temp, temp spike. spike. Yes, temp spike by Thermapro. Is it Thermapro? Can you look on the back? I wanna make sure. I'd be so embarrassed if it wasn't. Yes, Thermapro. Thermapro. Yes, okay. So which one looks bigger? Uh, I'm thinking like right here. One? What do you think? I'm thinking, I don't care. I would go on the side. Go on the side, right? Right on the side. Your, uh, your, let me go from the know. other side so I get to the Yeah, that part. side will work. Straight in. Woo. There it is. That goes in easy? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. We didn't pair this. That, it was that fast? That's the fastest I've ever paired. Out of all the Bluetooth devices, headsets, everything. It was literally one click and there it was. We literally didn't do anything. It did it itself. That was great. Great job on that. Yeah. That was awesome. Great design. And this is what it looks like up close. And it's in there nice and good. And I think it says it's like 50 some odd degrees. So let's put this on the grill right now. That looks perfect. Ooh, look at that. And then close it up, we're ready to go. Now we're gonna cook at 275 today. We're a little short on time, normally I do 250. Okay guys, look at this thing as toot toot. It's smoking away, it's like a little choo choo train. I love it. Z Grills has a pretty good product by the way. I'm pretty happy with my Z Grill. I'm happy with my Pit Boss over there, my Weber back there, and my um, Monument over here, Monument Grills. I'm pretty happy with everything. So basically the um, temp spike thermometer that is in there, we wrapped it, it told us it was 165. We cooked it to 201 degrees. So now we're gonna throw it in that cooler right there. So go ahead and do your thing. You can leave the temperature thing in if you want, I don't care. All right. Oh no, just grab them each meat off. You don't oh. have to grab the mat. And just drop it in the, drop it in the case. Yeah, I'll just do it on top. Are we fine? That's fine. Like I said, you can leave the temperature until we can get it later. 
Oh, she's hungry. Look at her. I can't blame Get her. Away, awesome. Get away, girl. Get away. Okay, so now that I'll, I'll set everything down. You want to carry that into the kitchen? Just put it up on the table or the or the bar. Oh, sure, sure. Okay, well, I guess you'll turn it all down. That's cool. Okay, before we open this, this has been sitting for almost an hour. Okay, but we want to talk about that um, Thermopro, right? It's called a temp. Uh, this spike. is the temp spike. Called the temp spike. I haven't literally. I've done a lot of wireless probes that you just stick it in the meat and walk away. This communicated perfectly with me in the house. There was no problem closing the lid. This is the best one yet I've ever worked with. So I'm going to try some other ones coming up in future videos. I think we're going to try one in our Super Bowl video, right? I believe so, yeah. yeah. talking about a different one. So we're going to try, uh, I think it's called Meat Stick. We'll try that one in the Super Bowl video. We'll let you know how it's going. It's their fourth generation, so I'm... Sure, they nailed out all the problems with that, but um, this right here, I don't know how much this is. I'll have a link down below. This is well worth it. I'm telling you, this is a great gift for everybody celebrating January. So just buy it for somebody. But anyway, so we've done that. So let me move that out of the way because we're going to open this bad boy now. So come on in close and we'll watch him cut into this. We'll try the meat and we'll see how everything is. Okay, you're opening it for like oh, the first time. You can already smell that. Yeah, I opened that toward my face on purpose. I wanted that whiff. Does that smell good? Look at the juices in there. Oh my gosh. Look, Look how, how juicy juice. this thing came out. Dude, and that's wrapped. I've never seen that much that juice at the bottom the ever. That is foil. This is going to be so good. Yeah, this is literally still 200 degrees. It is? Is that what it says? I don't know what it says. Tell you what. You tell me what it okay, says. Okay, hold on. I'll tell you how much that is right now. Let me go to my, my app. It is internally 167 degrees right now. Wow. Okay, let me put the okay. camera up a little bit. Hold on. There we go. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now remember, this does say, do not run water over this or wash it while it is hot. So you have to let this sit and cool before you wash it, or I guess it will mess it up and you don't wanna do that because this thing has just been so phenomenal. Just put that right there. Ooh. Take a look at this. Okay, so I'm standing back here taking pictures. Sorry, you guys are wondering where I'm at. Look at this. Well, that's a video of pictures. Okay. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm literally having to make a bowl out of this so it does not run all over the place. This thing is just full of liquid. All right. You ready for the cut? Yeah. Go ahead. Let's do this. All right. Got a good stab on that. Ooh, this is just, oh my God. It's just so tender. I'm Look trying to at pull that it smoke back. ring. It just tore apart on me. Oh my goodness. Oh. Look at that smoke ring. Let me angle this here for the camera. Can y'all see that? Look at this. That is amazing. Look at that smoke ring right there he's talking about. Wow. There's so much juice. Unbelievable. Hold on one second. Hold that right there. Okay, you guys ready for us to try this? All right, what? That is your piece. What is what? That's bigger though. This one's Who's bigger. that? This is thin. Look at that. Whose is that? That one's mine. You get the big what? one. What? Can't let them starve. My own show and I get the little piece. All right. Are we just? That is I'm warm. afraid it's gonna drip all over me. Are we ready? Oh, you know what it is. I know. Let's go. All right. Mm. That is so good. Oh my goodness. It worked, guys. It really works. It tastes like brisket. It just tears apart, though. I know. Mm. I'm finishing that off. So good. This meat is in a puddle of juice right now. This tastes just like brisket. Guys, one-third the price. I'm never buying brisket again. 
I'm doing it this method. You doing it this method from now on? I'm definitely doing it like this, and yeah. I might just finish this off for you. Guys, share this video. Tell everybody about it. That was like 20 bucks for those two big, thick roasts, and it tastes just like brisket. We love you. Thanks for joining us for this test of poor man's brisket. We're poor, so we're doing brisket this way. We love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay.